Week 9, problem 14. Consider the circuit shown below. Let R equal 2, R2 equal 5, and EMF, the electromotive force, equal 7. 7 volts. Find the voltage across R1. Find the current across R1. Okay, I'm just going to solve the whole thing. Um, yep, so I'm going to start by creating everything into an a, uh, equivalent resistor. So, oh, here we have 10, I'm going to go with blue. Spy, ooh, cyan, is that cyan? I hope that's cyan. Maybe it's turquoise. I'm going to go with turquoise. All right, so these guys, I'm going to just do a little notes right here. I'm going to convert 5 into tenths. So 2 tenths equals 3 tenths. Therefore, R equivalent equals 10 over 3, which equals 3.3. I'll do the 10 over 3. All right. So in case you couldn't remember, when you have parallel resistors in parallel, you add the reciprocals, and then you take the inverse of the whole thing. Or adding the reciprocals equals the reciprocal of the equivalent resistance. Pretty, pretty reasonable. So this will be 10 thirds. And after you do that, every time, you should check to make sure that the answer you got is smaller than either of the resistors you start with. Because you're taking two paths, it'll be easier than taking each being forced to take each individual path. So we have 10, 5, and we have like 3.3. .3. So check, that's at least not obviously wrong. I don't know why I drew it up like that, because I combined them, I don't know. Ooh, maybe it's because of that one, yeah, got it. Okay, I know what I'm doing now. So, and then we have two, and then it comes together, nope. We have another resistor here. Oh, this is terrible, I can do much better, much better. You go away. You go away. There we go. So this is R2, which is 5, which is in series with these guys, and R1, okay. Draw another arrow, so I can simplify it every time. I'll just draw it, right, 2 over here. All right, so now i got to combine, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to change 5 into thirds, so 15 thirds, so we have 2, and then 25 thirds, and then 2. There we go. Now we want to combine the um, top and bottom in parallel, so we're still going to have our 2 ohm resistor, and now I'm going to do 325 plus one half. Okay. So the 325, I can write that as 6 fiftieths. I can write the one half as 25 fiftieths. So this is basically like 8. So it's going to be the dominant one. Alright, so then we'll have 31 fiftieths, which implies that the R equivalent will equal 50 31sts. So that's like what? Mm, 5 thirds? Hmm. 5 thirds. 1.6. 1.6. I'm going to say 8. Because it's 30. I don't know. 1.6. 1.66. Oh, there we go. 50 31sts, which then goes to combining these two in um, series. So I'm going to rewrite the 2 as 62 31sts. So we have 1, 1, 2, 62 plus 50. Is that right? Hmm. Yeah, because we take 50 from here, give it to there, give it 100, 112. Got it. 31, which is like, I don't know, 4? No. It's like, Three point five. Hmm. Yep, because they're in series, that makes sense. Oh, and then check one point six. One point six is less than both eight and two. Got it. So this is our equivalent resistor. So R E Q equals one one two over thirty one. Okay. So now we need to find what the current is. I 
total, which would be the total through the whole thing, will be voltage divided by R, which is going to be 7. I'm going to write it as 7 over 1 because we got fractions. 31, which would be 7 over 1 times 31 over 112. So to divide by fractions, you multiply by the reciprocal. And 7 times 31, ooh, I could probably actually do this in my head. So 210 plus 7, so 217 over 112. I should probably take that out. 7 times 31. <coughs> 217. Bam! I'm awesome. Divided by 112. 112. And this will give us our total current, which will be 1.94. Equals 1.94 amps. Alright, let's look at this real quick. So let's see here. The big resistor we have is 2. Okay, maybe that's true. All right, so now we need to find the voltage across R1. So we know, what, so the way I'm going to do this, I'm going to do voltage drops. So this will be 7, this will be 0. So I'll follow this around. Voltage on that side will be 0. So we need to find the voltage drop across this guy. All the current has to pass through him. Therefore, we know that the voltage drop is going to be 7 minus the current, which is all the current. It's like what? 1.94, 1.94 minus 1.94, nope, 4 times 2. 7 minus 1.94 times 2. Probably didn't need that extra parenthesis up there. So I did 7 minus, and it gives us 3.12. So right here then, it would be 3.12, right here with 3.12 volts. So the way voltage drop works is it starts here, this will be 7, drops to 3.12, then it drops to 0, and it gets back here, and the battery then boosts the voltage back up to um, 7. Um, batteries maintain a constant voltage on each side of them, just like a pump in the hydraulic analogy, maintains a pressure on both sides. So the voltage across R1, will be 3.12 minus 0, which is 3.12. Okay, now I want us to find the current through R1. Okay, so the current is going to be, uh, current equals voltage divided by radius, ooh, resistance, 3.12 over R1, which is 2. How can I do that in my head? Probably could. I'm not going to. 3.12 divided by 2. And we better get an answer less than the total. 1.56. Okay. Alright. So we had a total current. Just kind of dummy check at this point. Make sure these seem reasonable. So we had a total current of 1.94. 1.56 is less than 1.94, so this seems reasonable, it's, it's possible. But it's saying that the most of the current goes through this resistor, which means there's more resistance on the top. So there's a lot of resistance to flow on the top, and so the R1 must be the easy path. So if we look at this, we know that R2 is like 5, which is way bigger than 2. So yeah, okay, that, that seems reasonable at that point. And then I'm going to say like this is like 3, you know, 10 and 5 in parallel, something less than 5, maybe 3. 3 plus 5 is like 8. So if you have 8 up here, 2 down here, then like 80% of the current should go through. Wait a sec. Yeah. So like 80% of the current should go through R1 because it's the easier path by like a factor of 4. So yeah, 1 point, yeah, that's about right. 1.6, 1.9. I would believe that. This may actually be the correct answer. All right, and that's how I would go through this problem. So that's number 14. Um, on to number 15.